What up, y'all? It is Alex. We are going to talk about Aegis Polis. Is that how you say it? I'm not sure. By Aphex Twin. Let's dive into it. We're first going to get this eight bar melody. It's going to be really dope, followed by some drums. Now, as you can see, we get the melody starting off. This is just some sort of square wave with reverb on it. Pretty simple. And then we just have our drums. I have this clave crystal thing. I'm calling it a clave crystal because I'm guessing that's a clave that was just defected. And I put crystal because, I don't know, it sounds kind of crystal-y to me. And then you're going to have some snares. Two in the four offbeat hat and a closed hat then our big kick coming in which gets really big once things turn pink so if you've watched any of our other videos especially the drexia ones a lot of this track has this sort of live-ish like maybe played on a board feel in terms of how it's constructed and right before we just like dive back into listening i want to say that in general, I view this track kind of like a jam where we're having melody one, which is the square based melody, and then melody two, which is gonna be that bass line that comes in eventually, this one here. It's essentially like a dance between using melody one and melody two and then by creating different contexts around these two melodies, eventually combining them at the end. And yeah, basically we get a lot of variation in the drums, but uh, we'll get more into that in a second. So let's keep listening. To keep this kind of melody and groove interesting, we're gonna have the introduction of the pad here. Had that little rim coming in here too kind of takes plate the place of the clave crystal i say that in the sense that it's a percussive sound with a lot of reverb on it and um i like how it's introduced here because it's just a small way of making the track sound different while keeping like similar elements at play for example by subbing the clave crystal for the rim you're still getting a percussive element that plays a similar role but it sounds different so it just keeps our ears engaged and that's really cool point out how at this point over here we've had this groove going with this melody one for a while and so it's about time to change it up because eventually you're gonna get bored of that loop and so that's why it makes sense that we get the introduction of this new melody so melody one drops out melody two comes in so now we have something new to listen to the groove keeps going but even the groove has a change up which I think is important to note just because that also helps create a sense of change which 
gives the listener you know something new to listen to so that's why i made these hats here green because up until this point the hats have mostly just been cruising with this the closed hats going on about 16th notes and then this open hat and at this point though the 16th notes play then they have a little pause then they play play have a little pause for example listen <laughs> And that just is a different feel. And again, I thought that was just important to note. And it's it's cool how the variation and the, the change in the feel of the groove is happening just by eliminating a few hats and by having those kicks have like little little like senses of finality here. And and these little sections like right here and right here. Listen for that again. <laughs> But yeah, so now we're listening to the new melody. We're happy with that. And then you're going to have some rims come back. And then you're going to have a little drum variation here, which we haven't had before, which just helps keep this new melody interesting sounding. So what else is going on here? Now, once again, I said this song was kind of like a jam, right? So we have the melody to the pads and drums going. Now, again, I say it's like a jam because to keep this interesting, we're still going to keep the same groove, more or less, you know, more or less the same thing going. But now we're just going to add some like water sample. I, I'm guessing, I don't know exactly what the sample is, but to me it sounds like a sample of like some water splashing around. So once that comes in, your ears are going, ooh, what's that? And so now we're still hearing the same groove we've heard, but now we're hearing it with a new element involved. And so it kind of just like, perhaps recontextualizing is the right word. It just helps us hear what we've been hearing with something new. So it keeps it interesting again, um, which is what, you know, we've kind of been doing thus far now i want to point out at the end of these two bars you get a really interesting like change up in the drums so listen how the snare sound actually changes it actually starts to sound like you could imagine this snare here being like jacked up and thrown in like like an early 2010s dubstep track <laughs> Maybe that's a bit of a stretch, but whatever. The snare changes. Again, listen to the snare sound here versus here. The kick also changes. Here you have this like really bassy 808. Here it gets a little punchier. And then we get this offbeat situation. And then we get this weird like white noise thing that's like kind of like a polyrhythm going tit 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 tit. I guess it's actually it's sort of like an offbeat as well. That's a little like jittery. I'm not positive if that's polyrhythm or not, but it's in there. It's it's new. And so now these new some of these new percussive elements, at least this white noise offbeat weird poly perhaps polyrhythmic thing is going to continue on while the new drums uh like the new snare and the new kick continue as well and that's going to like help bring us into the new cycle of of this melody <laughs>
this is really sweet. So, like I said, we're all just, we're kind of just jamming and changing elements, but generally basing this stuff around melody one and two, right? So like I said, we have these new drums come in. They continue here. And I feel like they're so different sounding that by the time we get to the end of the cycle of this eight bar melody and go back to the drums we've been hearing for the most part, it sounds like we've been away from them for so long, even though it really hasn't been that long. It's really just been about eight bars um, since we've been away from our very familiar drums. But even just this eight bar, which is about what? Um, about 20 seconds. Just hearing those drums for about that long makes it so satisfying when we go back to hearing the original groove here. And I just think that's cool because now we're able to just listen to what we've been listening to already, but it sounds so fresh again and it's like, oh cool, we're back to the familiarity. And then, but very quickly, things are still changing because now we're gonna drop out the pads and then we're gonna have a touch of this melody without the pads. You're gonna get a little like reverby um, addition to this note here. That's gonna be a, a big little note. And then we're gonna drop out the melody all together and the pads. So now we're just gonna have mostly drums going with some water sample. So that's gonna kind of like cleanse the palette in a way because we're gonna not have a big melody to listen to. We're gonna just mostly have groove so we can just like relax for a bit. And uh, let, let's see what happens there. <laughs> Uh, you're also going to note here that, like I said, we get back to the familiar drums after this drum variation. That's really cool. But then very quickly, the pads drop out. And also the hi-hat pattern changes. Now we get some, like, trilly hi-hats. The bass, or the kick also changes to be more than just a constant kick. It kind of becomes its own little bass line. Do, 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 do. So again, just look at all this variation we're getting by changing in the drums. Uh, really, really cool. So, you know, if you're trying to make a track like this, maybe come up with two amazing melodies. Uh, if you really want to be specific, uh, you could make them eight bar melodies, but you know, make them however long you want. And then just get crazy with your drums, kind of improv with them, switch up your drums a lot. If you want, you could get uh, like a texture sample, throw that in the mix. And then just kind of feel it out, groove with it, get a cool arrangement. I know it's easier said than done, but that's kind of the, the, the basics what's happening here. And by the way, if you're enjoying this video, please check out the description. Because if you want this project file, I can email it to you. Just shoot me an email, wilcox.alexme.com. We have a new track coming out via Response, which is you know the name of this channel. It's coming out on March 23rd of 2021. There's a pre-save link in the description. So if you've liked this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could pre-save the track. But yeah, new response release, so check it out. But okay, let's let's get back to this. So yeah, we have the drop out of the melody here. Which kind of just makes it easy for our brain to like chill for a second. We don't have a big melody to listen to. Now I bring the melody back just for a bit get the pads going and then we're going to drop out the kick so we get a sort of like breakdown feel where now we can just kind of sit and relax into these pads 
for a little bit before some new shit happens. So let's just hear that. tracks over <laughs> so let's just talk about how this ended so we had this new melody come in or sorry we have the melody we've been hearing come back in everything drops out or at least the kick drops out so we kind of get this breakdown sort of feel where you can really just sit into those pads which are so pleasant the beat comes back in it kind of reminds us at least it reminds me of like the intro it feels a little like the intro here just because we're getting that groove we already love and know we're getting the pads that at this point we've had quite a bit of the pads and now we're getting the reintroduction of the first melody it slowly comes in you can hear the volume rising this is again why it reminds me a lot of the drexia stuff uh just because it feels like you can like feel his hands like pushing up the 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 little faders to bring in the volume and now we're getting a groove that we've mostly had before. There, there's still a lot of different drum variations going on, but we, we've had tastes of these drum variations before, like this little part here. Like we had a variation of that over here. A similar one, it's, it's a little different, but. Um, and then we're getting the introduction of the water sample. So, so see, look, we've never had the water sample playing with Melody 1 playing. See that? No water sample, Melody 1. But now we're getting Melody 1 with the water sample. Things keep cruising. Um, we get some cowbell action. So we have like a play between this rim and the cowbell. <laughs> then we eventually have the unification of Melody 1 and Melody 2. We haven't had these both playing at the same time uh, up until this point. <laughs> Sounds like the water might still be in there, but I'm not positive. But yeah, you have the unification of these two melodies and then a fade out. We've never had these two melodies playing at the same time. It's cool that we, we get the union of them and then we fade out the track. And that's it. <laughs> I know you might be saying I'm oversimplifying it, but that's sort of the point because I just like to talk about the macro arrangement that we've got going on. And yeah, cool track. So again, like I said, get two cool melodies and some pads a water sample like look at that how cool is that that's that's basically in terms of melody and lead it's it's really mo more like just these three tracks but you get so much variation with the drums i mean technically this this kick is kind of like like a little melody here do 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 but for the main part this is really just your melodic components and you're just getting lots of cool variation with drums. And that just really helps stretch out these melodies and 
make this just a really interesting and cool track. So I hope you like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the little notification bell if you want to be notified when new videos come out. I'm, I'm honestly not so sure how the bell thing works, but... Uh, it looks like I should tell people to click on it. And uh, yeah, if you want the project file, shoot me an email. Pre-save the Spotify link or follow on SoundCloud or Bandcamp uh, my page, Alex Wilcox, because we've got a new single coming out on Response, March 23rd, 2021. Sitting at Home is the name of the track. Sitting at Home, technically. And uh, yeah, tell your friends. Have a good day. Email me, and uh, there's Aphex Twin, uh, Aegis Bullis? I don't know how you say it, but there it is. All right, peace, y'all.